So today we're still doing number patterns. It's the last lesson of number patterns. We will be consolidating and finishing off. Hi, Abisha. I just saw your message just now. Bashley, Theo. Hi, guys. So today we're finishing off. Um, pigeons are about to kill me. They want to come in the window. But guys, no matter what happens, keep doing that. Don't stop. Okay, you must keep doing the sounds that are on the board. I'll deal with the pigeons when they come in. Hi, Malukwe. How are you? Okay, let's get started. We're going to start off with something simple. Okay. Hello, Angeline. Hi, Inga. So first, we're going to read, revise our TN notations. Remember, TN stands for the general term or the value of the term. In a table, we will call it the value of our term. N stands for the position of the term. And then D as our constant difference. Then when we look on the right, we're gonna be revising the, there we go. We're gonna be revising the general formula for specifically linear number patterns. Impulsive. Hi, ma'am, it's my birthday. Bo, 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 bo. Happy birthday to you. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm going to get carried away. But happy birthday. Is it Lufuno? I think so. Yes. Happy, happy birthday. Okay. Now, my brain doesn't want to go back. I'm going to eat a whole cake for you. All of it. Ma'am, I'm writing maths. All the best, guys. All the best to people who are still writing. Ah, oh, I love the love that you guys are like. It's beautiful. But anyway, okay. So on the right hand side, we have our general formula for linear number patterns. Guys, you cannot use this if it is not linear, ne? because you have to keep adding or subtracting the same thing, constant difference, meaning the same thing, okay? Then our C would be term zero, which is the term before the first term. Okay, so if you have term one, the one that would come before that would be your T zero. Once you have those two, you just substitute and you'll be able to find your general formula. So we're gonna be doing both linear and nonlinear. Not me. Linear and nonlinear. Here we go. Minuteless bag, where were you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. English just showed me flames just now. But it's okay. Let's get back to the lesson. Let's get back to the lesson. So first, we're going to fill in our missing numbers in these number patterns. Okay. First one. First one, how do we get from the number we are now to the next one. What's going on in the first pattern number A? Tell me how do we get to the next term and then tell me what the three missing terms are for number A. Anybody have an idea? Nope. You add odd numbers. Boo, boo, boo. N times two minus one, that cannot work. But remember, time you say we're not doing the general formula, we're just doing the next number. How do you get from this one to the next one? So time you says you add odd numbers, let's check. Okay, four to seven, we add three. Seven to 12, be careful, Satile. See, we add five. 12 to 19, we add seven. So tell me for the next one, how much are we adding? And what is it going to be? It's definitely not power of two, Lise. Hi, Palisa. Um, ma'am. Oh, I was about to say so. Uh, it's plus nine. Mm -hmm. So our answer is so, what? Um, it is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. And then we add um, 
10. What's the next odd number? Mm -mm. Oh, 11. Odd. There we go. So we have 11, and then the answer is going to be 39. 39. And our last one we add. We add 13. 13. And your answer is going to be 52. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vanessa. Welcome, man. I see you guys in the chat. You guys are so brilliant. Guys, the participation in this house is unmatched. I don't know if Simone has realized, but this six o'clock class, the participation is like. Okay. Abugile, I'm guessing Abugile wants to. I didn't oh. notice. I did. You did, ne? Very, like very exciting. Very happy. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Abugile, are you helping me with the next one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's hear how do you get to the next one? Plus two, ma'am. The first one. Okay. Plus two, and then. Uh, uh, plus, uh, sorry, ma'am. What is it? Okay. Uh, four, ma'am. Plus four. Plus four, and then. Sorry. It's okay. Hi, Chief. Check in the chat. They're helping you. There is a certain Plus category. Eight. Plus six eight. or eight. But now you're just recreating eight. the pattern. You see, that's a problem. Two, four, eight, two, four, eight. You're doing the same thing. Remember, we said linear and non-linear. So you're allowed to multiply and divide. Check what they say. Mo, we don't have it. What's happening? Okay. Times two. Oh. Thank you. Do you see that? Oh. Yes, ma'am. Mm. So then, if but it's black, the next one will be what? Uh, uh, Thirty-two, ma'am. Thirty-two. Mm. And then you times by two again. Sorry. 64, ma'am. 64, and our last one. 128. 128. Thank you very much, Abu Yes, ma'am. Okay, I see you guys in the chat. I see you. Thank you very much. Oh, I had a hand, but now it's gone. What's happening in the third pattern, guys? What's happening in the third pattern? Remember to check for everything. Let's check for multiplication, division, squaring, cubing. So what's happening in the, the, the third one? See? Okay, Chelsea, we add seven for the first one, but then we jump. Oh, Theo got it. It's cube numbers, guys. Cube numbers. One cubed is one. Two cubed is eight. Three cubed is 27. Four cubed is 64. So tell me. Yes, they are. You guys are brilliant. Man. So five cubed would be how much? What is my next term? One twenty-five, and then six cubed. Two and six. Thank you, Tammy. And the last one is seven cubes. Thanks, Mamelo. Which is three forty-three. Brilliant! You guys are absolutely brilliant. Abena, Mamelo, Kisha, I see you guys. See you guys. Okay. Now let's check D. Someone, anyone, anybody figured out what's happening in D yet? Anyone? 
we are flying through these number factors, which is brilliant because I mean, we can do more. Odd numbers, chief, is eight an odd number? Hmm. Eight is throwing us off a little bit. Or are you say we adding odd numbers? Plus two, then plus three. Okay, and then first two numbers to get the next. Thank you, Theo. I feel like Theo saw my notes before I started. Theo, were you were you checking? Theo, I'm looking, I'm watching you. I am watching you. You are absolutely brilliant. I love it. Right? Theo is here to kill us. So you say three plus five, and that gives you the eight. Then you say five plus eight, that gives you 13. Eight plus 13 gives you 21. So our next one is gonna have to be 13 plus 21, which is how much? What is our next term going to be? Right, Milan, yo, feels here to kill me. Kill us, all of us did this. Thanks, Sia. Thank you, iPhone, Mamello. Who's iPhone? I feel very uncomfortable thanking iPhone. Okay, and then for the next one, we're gonna have to say 21 plus 34, and that would be 55. And then finally, we say 34 plus 55, and that would be 89. Thank you. Very much beautiful people. That will be 18. Okay, what's going on there by number E? So long. Oops, nope, my, my eight was just like, mm-mm. Uh-uh. What's going on by E? Anyone? Someone backwards. Havana. That would be correct, my darling. That would be correct. We are dividing by three. We are so used to multiplication ones that division just falls like we miss it. Guys, so this is divided. Okay, let me move this down. Yes, hello. Oh, you guys are so brilliant, man. We divide by three. Then we divide by three again. So we're gonna divide by three again. And that's gonna give us, Palisa has told us the answer is 18. Pumzile, do you have a question? Okay, Pumzile, you're on mute when you're ready. 18 divided by three is six, divided by three is two. That was a nice, beautiful round, right? I hope you guys, your, your brains are warm. That was just a warm up. Okay. Hi. Pumzele. Afternoon, ma'am. How are you? Ma'am, may we please go back to D there, ma'am? Okay. How did you get the answer for D? We are adding the previous numbers, the previous two. So three plus five gives you eight. Do you see that? Yes. And then five plus eight gives you 13. So you add the ones before. And then eight plus 13 gives you 21. 13 yes, plus 21 gives you 34 and so on. Ma'am, mm -hmm. uh, I, I got my answer in a different way. Okay, how did you get it? It's weird, but I said um, third term minus first term to get second term. Then I said fourth term minus second term to get my third term. Ooh, Do you get that me? That is that sequence. It's the triangle. So you have seen the triangle. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so it is that sequence. We're just writing it next to each other. So that would be correct. Brilliant for spotting it. I love it. Thanks, Pumzile. Okay. I don't like this one. Let's see. Let's go there. Okay. So now we're going to find TN. 
and then we're going to find the missing values in the table. Now let's get started. The first thing is we have to check if this is a linear sequence. I want you guys to check. Tell me in the chat, is it, is it a linear sequence? And if you say yes or no, give me an answer, a reason for your answer. Guys, English is tapping out on me. Give me a reason for your answer, whether you say it is linear or not. Vanessa says no. What is your reason, Vanessa? And what does everyone else think? There's about 86 of you in here. So let's hear what you think. Remember, Palisa, it's possible. Excuse me, but are the numbers decreasing though? Check carefully. And it just says it's linear. Give me a reason. Some are negative. Yes. Everyone else, what does everyone else think? My Mamela says linear. Don't forget your reasons, guys. You have to give me reasons. No, Sisa, do you have a reason for me? Afternoon, Miss. Afternoon. Um, Miss, I say it's a linear because um, if you say negative four comma one minus negative three comma two, it gives you zero comma nine. Hey, and then if you do the same with three comma two and two comma three, you're gonna get the same answer. Beautiful. So it has to be linear because we're adding the same thing over and over. Thank you, Nosisa. Remember, guys. Thank you, Simon, for answering that. But remember, Aluta, uh, you're only checking with one, two, and three. After that, you don't know what position that is. So you cannot go from 2.3 to 6,7. You can only check with num term number one, term number two, term number three. You can only check with terms that are directly next to each other. So we can't use the next ones because we don't know their position. The next one could be number 10, for all we know, right? So let me repeat what we have just said, okay? This is a linear sequence because we are adding the same thing. To go from 4, 1 to 3, 2, you are adding 0, 9, not subtracting, adding, because these are integers, they're negative. And then to go from 3, 2 to 2, 3, we are adding 0, 9. You see that we are adding the same thing over and over. So therefore, this has to be a linear number pattern. And our constant difference is 0, 0,9. Do we understand now, guys? Do we understand why this is a linear number pattern? Mamello? Hi, Mamello. Hi, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, ma'am, what the constant difference um, when you take the 4,1 minus the 0, 0,9, it still gives you the 3,2. With, okay, you said 4,1, negative 4,1? No, ma'am, 4,1 minus okay, negative 4,1. You see that? Oh, yes, ma'am. So are you trying to find T0? Is that what you're trying to do? No, my, my constant difference is minus 0, 0,9. Mm -mm. You must type, remember, you must type in exactly what you see, negative 4, 1, not 4, 1. Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Cool. Chelsea, what don't you understand? Chelsea, were you in the previous lessons? If not, you have a lot to catch up, my darling. Mosema? Angelina. Hello, madam. Yes, let's hear. Um, why do we have to add 0, 0,9? We are adding 0, 0,9. How else do you get from negative 3, 2, I mean negative 4, 1 to 3, 2? We have to add 0, 0,9. That's how you check. So, guys, to work out, 
the constant difference, you say term number two minus term number one or term number three minus term number two. So then you would say negative three comma two minus negative four comma one. And that would be negative three comma two plus four comma one, which gives you zero comma nine. Do you understand now? Okay, thank you, ma'am, I understand. Here we go, you're welcome. Nicole says, I calculated negative four comma one plus zero comma nine, and I got negative three. Did you minus or did you add the zero comma nine, Nicole? Let's check, negative four comma one plus zero comma nine, nope. Maybe you didn't type correctly or you didn't check your answer correctly, it's definitely three to negative three comma two. Ooh, Balissa has T28 for us. Balissa has T28 for us. We still haven't found our formula. Guys, remember you have to consolidate after the lessons. Nah? You can't just forget about it and then be lost when you come back. So now that we have our difference, C would be negative four comma one minus zero comma nine because we are going that way to find T0. So if you're adding going forward, then you have to subtract going backwards. So this will be negative five. Okay, so then Tn will be 0, 0,9 n minus five. Remember, remember guys, C goes at the end of the formula. Maybe that's the problem. Write in the chat for me, what is the general formula? What is the general formula for a linear sequence now that we've established it is? Ma'am, to find out D, could you say to Yes, yes, Savannah, that's exactly how you can do it. So you say, yes. They will both give you the same, and if they don't, then it's not a linear number pattern. Thank you, Bokang. Thank you, Bokang. Okay, Bogang says Tn equals Dn plus C. Okay, so then you substitute, guys, we substitute. So then you say Tn equals 0, 0,9 N plus negative five. But we said this plus minus situation with the positive and negative, this plus minus over here is gonna create a negative. Then you substitute from then on. Thank you, Balisa. Those who are still confused, it is a linear number pattern when you add or subtract the same thing. Plus 0, 0,9, plus 0, 0,9. It's the same thing over and over again. Look at that, plus 0, 0,9, plus 0, 0,9. If it was plus one, plus three, it's immediately disqualified, okay? It cannot work because that is not adding the same thing over and over or minusing, you can minus the same thing or you can add the same thing over and over. Okay, so I saw someone found T28, but I haven't seen anyone found the position of six comma seven. Tell me, where do we substitute the six comma seven in our formula? Where do we substitute it, on the left or on the right? Where do we substitute six comma seven? The six comma seven on the left, right, left. Look at the formula, guys. You need to read tables. You need to read your table, right? So this formula says Tn equals this. Tn. So the six comma seven is Tn. It's not n. Therefore, you're going to say six comma seven when you see Tn equals. Then you write the formula, 0, 0,9 n minus 5. Then you make n the subject of your formula. So this 5 has to go away, and it becomes 6, 7 plus 5 equals 0, 0,9 n. Okay, so this is going to give you 11, 7 equals 0, 0,9 n. To get rid of 0, 0,9, tell me how do I get rid of 0, 0,9, guys. Let me know the zero comma nine that's in. 
front of my N, how do I get rid of it? I see a hand going up somewhere. Saneliso. Yes, guys, we are correct. Saneliso. Your connection is bad. I can't hear you. Okay. okay. Divide. Finally, so say what you wanted to say in the chat. So we don't. Oh. Jeez. What's the answer for N? Well, I saw this Okay. Never mind. I thought this was sorted, but it's not. N equals 30. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Now, do the one for 13, comma 9, and tell me what the position for 13, comma 9 is. Palisa, do you have a question? Oh, no, ma'am. I just wanted to answer 13.9. Good. Ma'am, can I start? Yes. Um, ma'am, so you're going to say 13.9 plus 5 equals 0 0.9 multiplied by n. And then 13.9 plus 5 gives us 18.5 equals 0 0.9 n divide Are by sure 0 0.9. Melissa, check the decimal here. Um, oh, ma'am, it's 18.9. Divide by 0 0.9. What you do on the left, you do on the right. Mm -hmm. And then um, 18, 0 0.9 cancel 0 0.9. Therefore, N is equal to twenty one. Beautiful. Thank you, Balisa. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Where did you get five? It was on the left. It was on the right hand side, Nicole. But because we want N to be on its own, we moved it over to the left hand side. The other person said, why did we divide by 0, 0,9? You divide by what's in front of n to get rid of it. See, if we divide it there, then this will cancel out. It will be 0, 0,9 divided by 0, 0,9. I hope I've answered your questions. I hope I've answered everyone's questions. Beautiful. Now, we have to find the value of 10 to 8, which I already saw people have posted. Please repost your answers. It'll be somewhere at the top. So this time you say T28 is equal to 0, 0,9 times 28 minus 5. And how much is that? Let's hear what we have to say. That's 27, 2. Okay, let's check. What's 0, 0,9 times 28? First. Let's... Zero comma nine times two. It's 25 comma 2. So how did we get 47? Or oh, you guys did the 55. Okay, so this is 20 comma 2. Term 55 is 0 comma 9 
times 55 minus 5, which is, I see a hand. Let me just do this quickly, times 0, 0,9, which is 49,5 minus 5. Minus is going to give you 40,5. Yes, Bonnie, Hi, Bonnie, Hi, ma'am. Here we go. Do you have a question? No, ma'am, I want to answer our uh, 50. Oh, we already did. Oh, oh, oh I didn't see. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. fine. Thank you. It's fine. Oh, guys, buddy, we're going to answer some lesson plans. It's fine. Okay. Okay, let's work with this pattern over here. Okay, so the pattern is chairs, the number of chairs. Okay, leave the number of thingies alone because the number of tables just corresponds with the number, the term number. So we're working with chairs. So we have N and we have TN. So term number one, two, three. So in term number one and two and three, how many chairs do we have? Everyone wants to take a screenshot. Let me go up a little bit for two minutes, two seconds. Here we go. Let me do this actually. Make it a little smaller so we can take a screenshot. Okay. You're welcome. And I'm opening my emails for what reason? Here we go. Okay. iPhone says 1,5. I'm not sure what you are answering there. Okay, so in the first one, oh, the first one is five chairs. Okay, I get it. Five seats, because it's one, two, three, four, five. And in the second one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the third one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What's going on in this pattern, guys? Tell me what's happening in this pattern. What have we here? Hey, Nicola says we are adding three. Chelsea wants to do the whole question with me. I'm kidding. Chelsea, do you have a question? No, ma'am, I want to answer. Okay, do you want to do this whole thing with me? Chelsea? Ma'am? I Here wanted to answer me. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you can mute Chelsea. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. So it is a linear number pattern, guys, because we are adding the same thing over and over. You guys are getting it. You guys are getting it. So this would be your constant difference. So now we have Tn equals Dn plus C. We still need C, guys. Would it have? Let me know what would T0 be. If we're going forward and we're adding, then we have to. Do what to get T0? Listen to the question. Thank you. We would have to subtract. Chelsea, look carefully. If we're going forward and we're adding, and the one before this, we would have to minus three to figure out what it is. Do you see? So you say five, five minus three, and that would give you two okay so then our general formula is tn is 3n plus two brilliant guys 
properly yet. Okay, we are still with me. We're still alive. Let's do a brain break before we do some hectic stuff. Okay, brain break time. First hand, Hugh. Hello. Um, um. Okay, would you rather be able to talk with animals or to speak all foreign languages? Hmm. Um, okay. <laughs> Speak all foreign languages, ma'am. Uh, okay, let's choose the languages. Why the languages? Uh, ma'am, because honestly, it's just ridiculous to talk to animals, ma'am. No, it's not. I would definitely like to speak. Okay, well. I would pick foreign animals, I mean foreign languages, because I want to travel. That's the only reason no. I would. Ma'am, the thing is this, right? Imagine so you, in fact, imagine you seeing someone just going, for instance, just going moo, moo. No, but you don't have to speak in <gasps> their language. So you both can just understand each other. Imagine. No, but I'll go with foreign languages, ma'am. Right. Ah, your reason is not make sure. Your reason, your reason, even you are like, mm -mm, take a taking day. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I see your answers in the chat. Sophia, exactly. Guys, see, you can get lifts from, from, from the animals. Like, they can do anything for you guys. How? Imagine. See ya? Are you ready? Yeah. Hello. Okay, Sia has raised a very valid point. There is an app for languages, but there isn't one for animals. Yeah. Just see. Alyssa. Hi, ma'am. Ready for yours? Yes. Okay, would you rather be Batman or Spider-Man? Spider-Man. I am greatly not disappointed because I think I would choose Spider-Man as well. I'm actually confused. Okay. I'm actually confused, but for now I'll say Spider-Man. Yes. I'll say Spider-Man too. I see, I see in the chat there's a few people for Batman, but most people would say Spider-Man. You guys just wanna fling your way to school. I know Batman is always serious, right? I would I think I wouldn't make it as a Batman because I'm always joking around and nobody would take me seriously, guys. That time I'm in an all black serious outfit, but I'm busy. Hey. Hey. Imagine just staying until nighttime to save people. He got money though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right? I'm Batman. I need to practice the, the voice. All he says is I'm Batman, which is beautiful. Wendler? Hi. Wendler muted. Hi, okay. Hello. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Would you rather be the most popular person at school or the or the smartest person? Smartest, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. That's why we are all here on Thursday night doing mathematics. Ha! Huh, I love it. Is it like is it true that you can like skip grades if you're that like smart? No, no, it's not. Don't uh, keep. Why are you skipping? Why are you cheating? No, I heard like a friend of mine said like his mom skipped like he wasn't she wasn't grade nine and then she jumped to like grade eleven. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yo, so it was it did happen. Yes, it was a thing. Wow. So well. <laughs> I wish I was there. I see everyone in the chat is agreeing. Smartest, smartest. Okay, guys. Are you on? You on? Minense? 
right? Everyone just wants to skip grades. Leah, guy, guys, where are you going? You know, adult is gonna shake for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ready, Minenshe? Yes, ma'am. Would you rather spend the night in a luxury hotel room or camping surrounded by beautiful scenery? Mm. A luxury hotel. Oh, you guys like luxury. Guys, <laughs> you know how nice it is to camp outside with the stars and it's a beautiful no. experience just having bonfires. Camping, man. Chelsea and Theo are focused. I got humbled mm. from camping. Oh, oh, you guys, you guys are the ones who go to camping with branded clothes. I see you guys. You are that type, Minish. Yes, ma'am. Ah, it's not even denying. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yep, that's me. Guys, what are you going to do in a luxury hotel except sleep? Like, let's talk about this. What are you going to do? You're going to swim. You don't have, there's so many pools in life. Come on, guys. Oh, you're gonna steal the expensive soaps. I would choose camping. Ma'am? I would choose camping any day. Yes, I remember, Minister? I remember a time I had this camp last year at September. And then, ma'am, um, at four o'clock, ma'am, there was like a snake at the door peeking near my legs. <laughs> Guys, Minister has a valid reason. For wanting to go to a hotel. The rest of you just want content DJ for Instagram. Camping is nice. Camping is nice, guys. You have one night to enjoy, guys, but it's fine. It is boring in a hotel. So you guys are gonna go there for a whole night just to take the soaps. Guys, just guys. Okay, let's see who's next. Just a good bribe. Thank you. Thank you. Why? So you're going to a luxury hotel to sit on your phone with Keisha. I see you guys. Theo. Hi, Theo. Hello, ma'am. Would you rather explore space or the ocean? Space, ma'am. Space. Why space? Yes, ma'am. Um, I feel like, ma'am, um, you can still go to the ocean, ma'am, when you want to, like, with the sun. Yeah, but you can. And- yeah, when we say explore, we mean we say that those parts that people haven't seen. Man. Uh, it's still space, ma'am, because like it's interesting and stuff. You can like find out about planets. Okay, I see. Okay, guys, I would also choose space, but for a very different reason. I am terrified of what's going on at the bottom of the ocean. Like I don't want to find out. There's probably big creatures that are scary and it's dark and mm-mm. I'm terrified of it, so I will rather go to space. Like, I'm not even going to take a chance. But anyway, you ready for the last one? Hi, ma'am. Hello. (laughs) Would you rather be too hot or too cold? Ma'am, I'd rather be cold. Hi, but guys... How would you no, rather ma'am. be cold? Because if you're cold, you can get warm. No, you can't. Have you ever been cold to the point where, like, like you become desperate? There's nothing you can do. And, like... No, ma'am, there's water bottles, there's blankets, there's heaters. Guys, do you know when your feet are like, I am cold, I don't care how many heaters you bring out, you will be cold. I would <laughs> rather I take two. Guys, I haven't found my glasses. Guys, don't ask about my glasses. They'll be here next lesson or new ones. We'll see. I would also rather be too hot. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. Cold is torture. Like your toes feel like they're about to fall off. I guess. Mm-mm. Please think about your lives carefully. I said, Okay, let's do two more before I let you guys go and do the quiz. It's quiz day. Okay. 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 There. Let's deal with this one. This guy over here. This guy over here. Okay. What's going on here, guys? Ideas. What's happening over here? My back hurts. 
Come on, guys. Guys. Hello. Everyone's keeps like quiet. Can you hear me? Maybe, maybe I'm eating. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking alone here. Nope, you can hear me. I can see that staring at me. What's happening, guys? Any ideas? Let's see what's happening in the chat. Because everyone looks like they're working very hard. It is fractions. Yes, it is. Ooh, Mamelo is on to something. Mamelo is on to something. No, Sisa? Hello. Morning again, Miss. Um, so, Miss, at first I said 5 minus 32 over 7. And then okay. it gave me um, decimals. So I rounded off, it was 0, 0,4. No rounding, no scissor. If it gives you decimals on the calculator, press the SD button, it'll give you a fraction. Okay. Oh, yes, it must be a fraction. It, well, you can use a decimal, but you can use a fraction as well. My medlo says it's a non-linear pattern. Um, are you sure, my medlo? iPhone says minus three over eight. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. Is that first term the one that's throwing you guys off? Hi, Minente. Hello, ma'am. You have an idea? So, ma'am, I think the number is like the numerator stay the same. It's just that you have to like put seven over seven, something like over seven, ma'am. The number stays the same. You just have to like have over seven. Mm, not necessarily. There is something going on. There's a pattern. Okay, Palisa and Mamela say it's a linear. Theo says it's minus V over seven question mark. Is that first one throwing you off, guys? Is that what's going on? It is a linear. Tebe and Theo and everyone who said it's a linear have gotten it. Okay, guys, if you wanted to make your life easier, you can make five a fraction over seven, right? Remember one whole, whole, yo, I don't know how to spell in this room. Whole would be seven over seven, right? So then if you have five of them, that would be five times seven, and that is 35 over seven. I think if you guys had done that, it would have been much easier. Because then you see, to get from there to there, you have to subtract three over seven. Then from there to there, subtract three over seven. So it is indeed a linear number pattern. Okay, now let's work. Now we know it's a linear number pattern. We have our constant difference. Chief, I don't know what's going on. If you can't see the sum, if you're on your phone, maybe try swiping, changing the views so that you don't see me, but you see. Yeah, it's possible that Chief is on the phone and we're gonna like the chat or something or minimize the chat, you can't see both. Okay. Yes, yes, who said that? Term one is, say it is 35 over seven, yes. So now we have a constant difference. Thank you very much, Landley. D is equal to negative three over seven. Now we have to find C, right? And since we are subtracting going forward, we will have to add going backwards, the inverse, right? So you'd have to say five plus three over seven or 35 over seven plus three over seven, which would give you 38 over seven. Okay, so we have D, we have C. We substituted TN equals DN plus C. And that will give us negative 3 over 7N plus 38 over 7. 
Now I want you guys to find the positions and the values of the missing terms. There we go, you're welcome. Okay, so I want you guys to find that. I'm gonna keep quiet for a few minutes. Once you have an answer, just post it in the chat. Remember, Khaqelo, you need to use the formula and substitute. You don't know if negative 4 over 7 is right next to 25. Yes, no, Khaqelo, you may. You don't need to, but you may. Mamelo? Ma'am? Mm -hmm. Um, can I ask how much, how did you get the 38 over 7? I went backwards. Do you agree that we are subtracting 3 over 7 going forward? Yes, ma'am. So if you're going to go backwards to find the term before this, you would have to add 3 over 7. Oh. Okay. So then I just put 5, I wrote it as a fraction over 7, and then I added it. Yes, ma'am. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Let's see what's happening in the chat. I think it is fine. I'm not sure which one. Tammy, do you have an answer for me or do you have a question? Hi, Tammy. I cannot hear you. I don't know if it's my computer. No, I can't hear his phone. Yeah, tell me you'll have to type what you have to say in the chat because we cannot hear anything. With a calculator, it's five. Which one, guys? There are so many questions on the let me do them and then you guys give me a mark out of four or out of the amount you tried. So if you tried three, give yourself a mark out of three and so on. So this one has given us Tn. So this side would have to be 17 over seven equals negative three over seven n plus 38 over seven. We get rid of this by taking it over to the other side. So it's going to be 17 over 7 minus 38 over 7. And no, nope, over 7 equals negative 3 over 7. And this is going to give us how much? Negative 2 is a 21. Yes, to me, hoping that it's 21. 17 Chelsea, do you have a question or are you finishing this off with me? Hi, Chelsea. Chelsea. Ma'am. Here we go. Hello. Um, I think it's minus three. Minus three. Which one? That um seventeen uh seven and uh, minus thirty seven thirty eight seven. So the answer is yes, it is negative three. But I like keeping it like this because I'm about to divide. Okay. Because to get rid of the three over seven, you'll have to times by the reciprocal, so seven over three, or divide by that. So you're gonna have to times the side by negative seven over three, and then these will cancel. 21 divided by three is seven. So you guys are correct. This one is seven. Then the next one is negative four over seven. 
equals negative three over seven n. I have to hurry up because you guys have to do the quiz, which is negative 44 over seven. Okay. We're gonna end up with negative 44 divided by three. Is that correct? Which is equal to, did I make a mistake? What's negative 44 divided by three? Now I'm like, did I make a mistake somewhere? Nope. Hmm. N is 14. So did I make a mistake somewhere? If N is 14, that means I have to have a mistake somewhere. Let's see. Four over seven, took it over. 38 minus that, it's 42. That's where my mistake is. 42 over seven, not 44. Over seven N, and then it's gonna end up with negative 42 over seven times negative seven over three. Therefore, N is 14. That is indeed correct. And we are out of time, unfortunately. Cannot give the rest of the answers. Thank you guys for such an incredible lesson. You guys are always participating. Love it.